T3, it's on anti-aggro. Got a quick settings guide for you. Basically, Battlefield 5 is my first Battlefield. I always watched other people play Battlefield. Always loved it. 3 and 4 I played a little bit, but just never I get too angry. Too frustrating. But, these are my settings now as a new player. I figure somebody might be able to get some insight off of this. Maybe, maybe this will help. Yeah, I don't know. But basically, invert look is... That's your preference. I personally don't use it. Um, soldier aim sensitivity. I got this hike at 43 is a weird number, but it's it's comfy to me. I don't know. I got my soldier aim or zoom aim sensitivity set to the same. Um, this helps a lot with your muscle memory. And I don't remember what the what the default is on these, but as a new player. I definitely recommend turning them down. Um, some people say between 30 and 60. Um, personally, if you're brand new, start out 50. I don't know. Let's see where it goes. Soldier uh, sprint, toggle. Um, all this is hold. That's just a preference to me. Soldier and vehicle aims. Um, I don't know, I'm yumpy on that right stick sometimes, so I turned it way down to 12. It's not too slow that I can't, you know, track people, but it keeps me at bay. Um, got to hold uh, my buttons and sticks. Basically, I got the vehicle driver buttons to veteran. Now, basically, this is going to make it to where instead of pressing up or down on the left stick to go, or accelerate, you would hit R2 or L2. So it's going to be a lot more like, you know, normal games. Um, I got it left everything else default until down you get to the pilot buttons. Um, pilot things the same way. Got it to where the throttle is R2 and throttle down is L2. So it's going to be more like that accompanied with the southpaw. That's going to be more like your Grand Theft Auto controls when you're flying. Left everything else default. Now aiming acceleration. It's all a matter of comfort. Um, if you want it to feel like Battlefield 4, Battlefield 4 had no aim acceleration. So uh, if you want it to feel like that, you turn it down to zero. Um, aim acceleration basically is just once you st press stick left or right, how fast it starts moving in that direction. Coefficient, I wouldn't mess with it unless you really know what you're doing. Um, uniform soldier aiming on to make every weapon in the game feel like you're aiming the same weapon. Same thing with the vehicles, it just makes everything have a more linear feel. Vehicle aim controls is so that you can, uh, same thing with this, decouple the aiming from turning. Basically, if you want to drive a tank and then aim off to the left, but continue to drive straight, then that's what this is the setting you need to have. Um, if you want to turn and have the the body of the tank automatically turn in that direction, start going that direction, then leave it as default. All these you can mess with, I guess, if you really want to. Um, Plane control sensitivity, I turned it down a little bit, being a little bit twitchy. So, um, everything else I left the same. I don't believe I messed with any of these. It's always been at 48. And you want these two ratios matching, or it's going to feel way off. Um, vibration. I suggest that you turn it off. Um, it, it can give you a more immersive feeling with it on, but it's just another thing to distract you when you're out there playing. Um, center dead zone. I don't remember what the, re what the defaults are on this, but it, I may have looked at another YouTuber's settings and maybe try and drop this down to 13 from 15, but anyway, in any case, I got them at 13. Axial is at 15. It feels good. It's not too twitchy. 
but it's not too laggy. Um, my L2 and R2 does zone. I am not a player that switches my R2 with my R1, you know. Some people switch their L1 to ADS and then R1 to shoot. I personally don't, so I got these all the way hiked all the way down. That way I don't even have to press the trigger down all the way to get it to register as a shot. Helps a lot shooting really fast. Um, got when active, uh, kill logs nearby, got the name of the weapon. If you can picture it better, then that's good. Loadout mirroring. Basically, if you set up a certain loadout with an Axis Soldier, your Allied Soldier is going to have the same thing. Uh, crosshair visibility. If you're doing uh, having a hard time, maybe change the crosshair color. Don't ever mess with your sensitivity and stuff. It's going to screw up your muscle memory, but crosshair color, it might help. You can change the color on the reflex sights. Um, basically, my hit colors. I've got it to wear green, I hit somebody, I keep shooting because they're not dead yet, and then when kill is red, I can stop shooting them, acquire another target. I don't know, it helps. Headshot color, you got the blue, so that I know that, hey, I'm hitting them in the head. Um, got the mini map here, basically the on foot radius. Have a tweak with this because the lower the value, the more zoomed in it's going to be. So if you're having trouble telling exactly where those, you know, red dots are, if they're inside a building next to you or outside of it, you can just hike that down and have a play with it. You can go into range, mess with all these settings, and it'll mess with it on your screen, and you can check it out, see what suits you best. Mini map size, I turned it up a little bit just so I can. It's easier to tell what's going on. Uh, my AD, my uh, icon. Basically, how easy it is to see through them. Um, when I'm ADSing, I've got it less. That way, they don't get in the way of soldiers or the enemy. You know, that are coming up on me if they happen to be directly behind those icons. Um, auto aiming and leaning, I got those turned on. I, for me, it helps. Parachute auto deploy. If you don't turn this off, then you're not going to have your own control of the parachute. And that can be kind of annoying if you, I don't know, say jump off a bridge or something, you want to deploy it faster than when it, the game would. <laughs> Could save your life. Um, plane change roll, camera roll. This basically. If I got turned off, so if I'm flying and I roll the plane upside down, my screen will be upside down. If you, for me, turn it on, it's hard to even remember which way is up or down, because when it's on, it doesn't roll. That's it, and the camera stays one way, despite what direction you are in the plane. I got the zoom snap turned all the way down, that way when I'm playing War Stories it feels the same as multiplayer. Um, Network's performance graph, I I can feel when it's lagging. I don't need to see it. Aim lead indicator, that's, that's good to have, just in case, you know. Just in case they're lagging, you're lagging. It'll tell you where to shoot. I turned the music down a little bit. Um, I found I was getting in the way of footsteps and stuff like that, and voices. Um, output configuration, I got on surround, because I have the, the Sony PS4 headset Platinums, and that's just what seems to work best with it. It's got the 3D sound, and let me tell you, you can tell where those enemies are coming from. If they're, from, you know, to your left, behind you, above you. I've gotten so much more kills and such a more attuned sense of awareness because of these things. It, it's crazy. But if you don't have, if you got a stereo up for your headphones and you still want something like that, go with the 3D headphones down here. But for me, I got it on headphones and surrounds, so that's what works. 
Now video. Uh, basically the only things in here are going to be your brightness. You're going to want to turn that up from the default because it's already hard enough to see the guys as it is. Camouflage seems to work works pretty well in this game. And a lot of people complain and say it's hard to see people or not. I mean, I don't know personally. It's camo. That's war. But keep your eyes open. Field of view. I got it. At, this is a popular one. I basically just looked it up. Um, I looked up on uh, the Broken Machine and Get Good Guy. Uh, shout out to those guys. Uh, their settings guides help me a lot. Um, I had set on 74 and with a horizontal FOV of 90. That's basically the lower the value, you're going to be more zoomed in. Enemies will be closer. Um, more zoomed out, you're going to have more peripheral vision, but the enemies will be smaller. So it's basically just a, a trade off. With a higher field of view, recoil won't be so pronounced, but I don't know. Just something to think about. Uh, vehicle field of view, I got it to 90 because. I want to see more of my surroundings when I'm in a vehicle. Um, aiming down sights field of view. If you want this to not change from when you're aiming down to when you're hip firing, then just leave it off. Motion blur. I turn this all the way down because, I mean, I know it, it helps with the, the ambience, but it's just more things to distract you. Um, depth of field effects, I've got this turned off because when you're aiming down the sights, if you got it turned down, it blurs everything but at the center of the screen. It's like a big big net filter on it. Um, I personally like to be able to see exactly what I'm aiming at and look for the next guy that I can go for after that. So this allows you to do that. Um, I just customized it, it's not even really custom but it's just brighter than what it was. All these things, they can make it look cool, maybe leave it on for war stories, but it, it's going to get in the way in multiplayer. But yeah, that's basically my settings video. Tried to make it short and sweet, and thank you for taking the time and checking it out. Peace.